Hi Collective, so we're going to go ahead and get right into this reading, of course. So I wasn't going to do no more reading for the day, child. I put my bonnet on, took the lashes off, and I was going to go to sleep. Because I got to work. So, channel message, y'all. This is a channel message. Child, child, child. Let me, let me find the deck. Let me find my mind. I don't know I'm hearing little Boosie um say or yeah Boosie I'm hearing Boosie say um he got his video on Instagram and he was like when you get your mind you call me okay yeah go lay your ass down big fella because you ain't in the right mind so Aquarius if you you read the title somebody's not in their right mind okay there's a divine master or divine feminine whoever this person is they're not in their right mind there is child. I might be on vape bag. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. And it's so funny. The first card I pulled was the Emperor card. Let me get my vape, y'all. Hey, Hey, mommy girl. So, y'all, let's talk about it for a second. So, I'll take the Emperor card. What's going on is that somebody, whoever this karmic is, they have went to a practitioner. Look at that Knight of Pentacles. Look, look what she's holding in her hand. Yeah, Pentacle. Somebody went to a practitioner, okay, to have control over a masculine. Six of Pentacles. They wanted to have an equal give and take with a divine masculine or divine feminine, man or female. It's giving masculine energy, but it could be a female. This is happening to as well. Um, and there's a karma who went to a practitioner over somebody. Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. Because I feel like whoever this person is, they went to a practitioner on whether it's you, Aquarius, or it's your masculine, your femme, or something of that nature. It's karmic that went to a practitioner on somebody here to do like a binding spell or love ritual to where this person will be mentally manipulated and cut off their person or cut off somebody they're dealing with or their friends or somebody of that sort they're supposed to be. To have a soul contract with that is everlasting or ever everlasting bond. Yeah, five of swords. Somebody could have gotten to an argument, beef, or I'm getting the upper hand. This person could have even, like, they wanted the upper hand in the situation. And they wanted this masculine or this feminine to pick to be with them and say, like, oh, oh uh, I don't need this other person anymore. I cut the other person off, stop talking to them. Or, you know, uh, how you say, close out the bond or the soul contract or make it null and void. Um, this was somebody's goal. This was this, this person's karmic's goal. And I feel like with the page of pentacles here, they paid either a pretty penny or I'm getting somebody going to learn a lesson. Like this person could be like a novice or amateur when it comes to magic, a source of respell work, santeria, ATRs, uh, voodoo, voodoo, um, witchcraft, magic, sorcery, or, you know, manipulation or metaphysics as a whole. And I feel like eight of cups, what's going on is that the goal was to make this emperor or this empress leave. Not a pinnacle. Something was a long shot. Yeah, something was a long shot here. I feel like they wanted this emperor, this empress to themselves, but they wanted, they were somehow either already connected to somebody else or there was already somebody that they were dealing with, whether it's somebody you were already dealing with or somebody, this person who was dealing with you. Take it how it resonates, flip it how you need to. And I feel like the Knight of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands, this is somebody here who, like, they're never very solid to this person if they never have solid offer. Or whoever the person is in particular, they want so bad. They're, like, either flighty, they're in and out, or it's not that serious, it's not that deep, or something is unrequited here. And I feel like with the Five of Swords, this person went again. Uh, uh, I can't even get it out. This person, also somebody who's saying 444, four, four, somebody went against code or spiritual law or whatever it is to take this person from somebody or manipulate into where they can have them eight of cups they will somehow leave you behind or leave somebody behind or you would leave somebody behind and i feel like the goal was to somehow come into like matrimony or this could even be like a business proposal to take somebody's business partner or whatever but with the will of fortune reverse this isn't going as planned or this is like a loss upheaval misfortune that they were trying to orchestrate this emperor or this empress to say or do or you know do and you know how somebody's be like i'm not making them do anything that's all about them i guess them no it's like some type of manipulation here or spell work involved and i feel like with the queen of wands reverse this this karmic here king of wands reverse queen of wands reverse whatever they're a poor leader they have poor magic skills they could even be doing love magic sex magic mental manipulation confusion spells etc here 
binding magic or all of the above there is some type of spell work here that i'm picking up that with the nine of swords the, their words fear is that this could go wrong and i was talking about uh, magic half-lives in my last reading so you know if you know what magic half-lives basically like you know certain magic and spells only last for so long that's why some people layer their work okay or they layer things to make it long lasting or something regarding the longevity okay so like i said what this person is they're two of pentacles instead of the, this is not the two of cups now this is the two of pentacles two dogs all dogs go to heaven this person here wanted this empress or emperor to be with them so bad or to work with them or be their business partner or whatever it may be so they went to a practitioner to have power over this person with the hangman energy have them out of their energy have them not confident out of their element and more importantly have this person at their disposal or have utter control over this person whether it's love life life or however you know to somehow decline a contract to ruin a soul bond or an everlasting promise or some sort yeah this karma went to a partition to do this hang in also this karma could be either a fire sign or a um a pisces okay and i feel like here with the ace of cups they thought they was going to have this ace of cups or this new opportunity or this love or whatever it was supposed to be here and six of wands they thought they were winning or they were successful or they had this person right where they want them like wrapped around their finger like this was the goal for some of you guys it's just like regarding business partnership or money or working with somebody here who has a lot of pull or caliber or something of that sort or arsenal of skills for others of you guys this is a reading regarding love like honeymoon the perfect happily ever after or getting what they want, who they want here, or something like that. Somebody could also be using um, the 369 method, or the method where you keep writing, 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 writing something, and then you add your essence or their essence or something to it. That could be significant. But yeah, King of Swords, here you are, Aquarius. So maybe this is them leaving you or you leaving them. It doesn't matter to me. But this person wanted to win by any means, or they wanted this person, but I feel like King of Swords, everybody's in their masculine energy. This karma could be a feminine, or they're just a feminine male. That makes sense because here we have the empress at the bottom of the deck the empress is here so Aquarius, you could be the empress or you could be the emperor you know flip it how you need to all right and then we have the six of pentacles versus the six of wands isn't that something so six this could be a significance but i feel like yeah this is what it is i feel like something is just natural regarding you and this person but whoever this karmic individual is how many cards is this one two three four five six seven eight so eights, sixes, and fours are significant. It's a little bit of twos, okay? But this is what this karma did, okay? But it's now it's not working. Now it is not working, and they are panicking, or they have they're losing focus, or they're losing um, magic, or whatever it is. So now they're having to take shit. Into, I'm hearing evasive action. They're having to take things into their own um, hands here, physically. Or I'm getting death card, and now they have to somehow trap this person. Yeah, there's an ending on the horizon of this magic isn't working or more importantly this misfortune or whatever they were orchestrating magically here with the death card here. This emperor or this empress energy is waking up through transitioning or this is ending. The ending is coming quick, fast, and in a hurry and they don't know what to do. Death card energy, Scorpio, whoever this practitioner is that they hit up. Like I said, Queen of Swords. So here's your energy, Aquarius. They already know that it's not working. And I feel like they feel like as if you're going to win or I'm getting by a long, long shot, you're winning. Or somehow you're going to ever have control. This person may have mentioned you or they're still trying to communicate with you or whatever it is. But Seven of Swords, this was a betrayal. This was some very dirty, under-the-table shit. And I feel like Knight of Wands, just like some very flighty or like whoever this, this karmic is, they didn't plan all the way to the end or, the, you know. The only thing they had in mind was the, the goal to have this person wrapped around their finger, to be have this person in love with them, or to marry them, or to work with them business-wise, or to build an empire with them. They didn't think about it turning around or it not working or whatever. And now they're wishing that they did. Yeah, four cups. This is like a hopeless romance or hope situation here, but this person thought that, you know, they can manipulate to, uh, this for a lifetime, or they thought that it was like a one and done type of situation, but yeah, Ace of Wands, I feel like this person hasn't even slept with them yet. 
or even if they have it was whack or somebody couldn't get it up or there was an issue regarding sex or something of that nature but yeah i feel like with the ace of wands energy yeah the devil card this person has to pay up or whoever's practitioner that they're working with uh with the eight of cups and ace of cups to get what they want it's kind of just like um they can't hold this person down any long only longer or more important with the queen of pentacles child excuse me they paid a good deal and i feel like this practitioner is starting to know who you are your ace of swords the truth is that this person all this person belongs to you they're going to come back to you or this is like a soul contract or an inevitable bond this should, cannot be broken but this karmic is panicking now okay and you know whoever this practitioner is is pulling cards on them or the person is contacted or whatever i got two cards so whoever the person is yeah nine of pentacles they knew that this person was single or maybe this person uh, made it, made everything seem like a fantasy or I have all this money and I'm single and I'm this or they're a great catch or whatever the reason is. Or they may have even said this about you or this person. Or, you know, the target more importantly. And I feel like with the Five of Cups, this is somebody here who kind of tried to say like, oh, this person's miserable where they are. Or, you know, this is that, this is that. Or, you know, they don't want to take a loss or they wanted you to lose this person. They want this person to lose you. Or I'm getting the ultimate loss, the ultimate betrayal. This is what they were orchestrating here. And I feel like the two of wands here, there was some type of indecision from this um, practitioner here. Or in, in the type of energy that they were picking up. But I feel like instead of them acting on it with the hermit card, they could have uh, definitely said, well, let me think about it here. Or they could have tried to cloak themselves while doing this because they didn't want to be involved. And I feel like with the Page of Cups, with the Knight of Cups here, good news. Um, they may have heard like, oh yeah, but from this person, oh yeah, it's working, it worked or whatever. And this person was like, okay, that's great, good news, whatever. But in the, hold on, there's too many cards here. But in the same breath, Temperance card, Karmic Skills, Karmic Justice, Sagittarius Energy, things have to bounce out. This is not the proper direction of the true di direction. You know how to say true north versus regular north? That could be significance or compass, but yeah, five of wands, conflict, chaotic energy, backfiring, all that stuff is happening. And I feel like ten of swords, this is going to bite this person in the ass, or they're realizing this is going to bite them in the ass. Yeah, king of cups, the nine of cups, I feel like what's going on, they they wanted their wish come true, they wanted their prince charming, they wanted their business partner, they wanted whatever they wanted. And instead of them going about it the right way or looking at their other options or how things could actually work, yeah, I just feel like what's going on with the king of wands, okay child this person really thought that whoever this practitioner is their king of wands so they may um only care about themselves okay or the money or whatever it is and with them working together page of swords they uh this practitioner coming watching this person or more importantly stalking watching and spying is definitely here or checking you out in the community trying to figure out who you are what's going on or asking about feedback but i feel like the ten of cups here this person's not going to get this Ten of Cups, or it's not going to be everlasting. And they're coming to the conclusion of that, and this person is panicking. Because let's see, whoever the person is, they put this work on, whether it's an empress or emperor. They wanted this person to express their love to them and fall in love with them or express how they feel or their loyalty or undying loyalty or whatever it is for them. And I feel like, yeah, they may have even wanted to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation where they were so attracted to this person. They could have tried this before, but it didn't work. And I feel like, yeah, we have the flirt card and we have to make the effort. So they wanted this person to make the effort because they feel as if this was their true love or true counterpart or true business partner or whatever. Because it is. Okay. And then I have released your ex. So whoever they released, they could have released you or you released somebody or somebody was released. So this magic could take place, if that makes sense. Because this person had romantic feelings or feelings for this person or something of that nature or some type of urge they could not turn off because they do have codependency issues they have not addressed yeah this person needs to heal their family issues or family ties as well too or they may have absent family members in their life or something of that sort but let's go to the part okay because whoever this karmic was who went to this practitioner to use magic yeah they got some type of like secret beef with you over this person Or the karmic has secret beef with that person over you. Put the how you need to, y'all. Yeah, this person could be calling out for you or they're missing you. Or, you know, the magic is wearing off. So now they're realizing what's going on. Or they may feel some type of way they could have recently got sick. Or ate something and got ingestion or food poisoning cure. Or something they ingested or smoking or whatever. Or bad tripping. So that fantasize about one-on-one -on -one with time with you. So this karmic could have been fantasizing about one-on-one -on -one time with, the, with this person and them. Or you and them. 
be your person. Like, what the fuck? Flip it how you need to. It resonates with both sides. Yeah, it says all money, love, and attention ain't good money, love, and attention. This could be what this practitioner is trying to understand here. Or this is what this person who has this magic on it is going to understand. Like I said, yeah, they're going to wake up in the, in the nick of time. This is going to be a realization across the board. Yeah, wrap your lips around you. They, maybe they want to kiss or they want to talk to this person. They want to get some type of information out of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's grab two more cards. Let's see what else is going on with the situation. Yeah, also somebody could be spending money on drugs or, you know, magic or elixir or something that is ingestible here. Or something that you're writing out or something of the sort. For this. Ooh, blank card. Something's hidden. Yeah, it says move out, move on, and move up. So maybe somebody was acting like they were moving out, they was moving on, they was moving up. Or that that may be how the situation was orchestrated. Somebody was like, I don't need you anymore, or this and that and blah, blah, blah. But whoever the person is who has the magic on them, let's see what's going on. Yeah, the person who has the magic on them, they realize that they are being used to get their lick back. Or somebody's using this whole situation regarding them to get their lick back or regarding you. Okay, what this person is? Yeah, spiritual school. This person could be in spiritual school too, or like spiritually initiated, or somehow learning more things about spirituality, the occult, etc., or magic. Okay, but they're not well versed, or they may not be into it as much as you. It's karma or this practitioner, but it says don't trust it, don't trust them. Uh, they could have been manipulated here to not trust you or, or trust anything you're saying here, but they're realizing they should not trust this karma, or they're going to come to the realization of this. The person who has the magic on them, it says meeting up with a past person. They may want to meet up with you or they may want to talk to you. Okay. Yeah, it says a death is significant. Maybe somebody has died in your life or their life that is significant. So that maybe you guys both experienced or a significant death has happened in somebody's life here. Yeah, have third party drama. Yeah, they're realizing it's just nothing but a bunch of third party drama. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's pull two more cards. You know, to say, if it ain't direct, it ain't respected. So, indirect shade or indirect magic, indirect trauma, or more important, indirect monitoring or watching here or targeting. It says, too late for reconciliation. I feel like this person may try to feel, they, feel, they may feel as if it's too late for reconciliation or it's too late to come back to you. Or if this is you, it's too late to come back towards that person. Okay. Now, let's pull some cards for you guys, Aquarius. Secret drug slash addiction. You may, find this, you may know this person has secret drugs. Or addictions or whatever it is, is they're giving them or they're fueling the fire to their addictions or they're what do you call it, enabling this person yeah and there's like a certain item of significance here that could be used all right for essence wise or just period yeah for you it have abusive relationships so they could be in an ab abusive relationship here or this karmic is abusive to this person you know this magic in them yeah, karmic lessons. The karmic lesson this person will having to learn, or maybe you are as well. It says something is wrong. Yeah, something is wrong, or it's not adding up. It, it's not adding up. It's not computing. Or you may have felt this way, but you can't put your finger on it. It's your confirmation. Yeah, can't bring themselves to do it. So this person can't bring themselves to cut you off or leave you alone or whatever it is. Um, but that's what the magic was for, to make them do it, to make them do it. Yeah, I have Scorpio placements here. Somebody could be a Scorpio, Scorpio season placement, etc. That could be a significance here. Or a Scorpio musical artist. I know Drake and Future are Scorpio artists. I don't know the rest. Yeah, this person may want to bring a gift to you here. So do some energetic slash emotional healing. This could be what you need to be focused on here. Or this is what needs to happen across the board. Yeah, this person may want to bring you an item or a gift. Okay, but yeah, this is some messy ass shit. One more card for the karmic. Yeah, a double duo. They want it to be a double duo with this person. The person who has the magic on them. Yeah, sipping syrup. So something that they drunk, a syrup or elixir, something ingestible or smokable or whatever it is. One card for you, Aquarius. Yeah, a diamond in the rough. I feel like you are the diamond in the rough, Aquarius. Okay. Um, wow. So this is kind of like what's going on here. I'm actually going to pull some cards as well and see what's going on in Karmic La La Land. It just starts in this panicking child. They panicking because they know that whoever this masculine or this feminine, they have this magic over, they're waking up and they're trying to figure out, like, they're coming to the conclusion as if what the fuck is going on or what happened or whatever. Okay.
just gonna pull this tarot up. We're gonna pull some oracles after this. I haven't used this deck in a really long time. Like sleeping beauty, I think that's what it's called. Hold on, let me get this oracle deck. Let's see. And it's so funny, I pulled the magician card straight motherfucking magic. That was the card that I pulled to cover the thing. But, anyways, let's go ahead and go into this deck here. Let's see, let's see what's actually going on. Okay, so let's see what's going on with this karmic and this divine masculine or divine feminine who's under this spell work. Mm. So this is first things first. It's giving love triangle here, but the the cards I have out, like I said, complicated love affairs. So this is exactly what this is, or complicated affair, or mix, or whatever this is. But toxic relationship. You both are the same. So I feel like it's going on. This person could have tried to spin the narrative that you were toxic for this person let y'all had a toxic relationship okay or how do you deal with this person and i feel like what's going on they may feel as if they've won because they have orchestrated this magic okay but whoever this karmic is yeah they are obsessed this is the third party this is the third party and this person needs to worry about paying their motherfucking bills or spending all their money doing shit they don't got no motherfucking business yeah, they think this person is a perfect match for them or you are a perfect match for them. Flip it how you need to. The last card, yeah, hospital. This person needs to go see a mental hospital or a hospital, period. Whoever this karmic is, so baby, they're throat off. They're going. They're too far gone. Yeah, this person could be simping or missing you or sprung on you here and they know it. And you, you have been through a lot of situations with this person, but child, they not giving up so easy. Yeah, because whoever this karmic is, yeah. They may try to get pregnant or be pregnant here. They already have children, but all things I feel like you see everything. Or if they're going to be illuminated to you. Okay. Aquarius. I feel like whoever this karmic is, um, they could have lost their job or got fired here and made this person lose their job. Okay. And I feel like, yeah, they, they tried to seduce this person. You already know this person is being seduced, so they was under some type of spell. But it says, I should be yours, you should be mine. I feel like that's going to be illuminated about how this person feels or the actual true agenda of what's really going on all these threes good lord yeah the first card yeah what do we have here he's happy with somebody else so this karma wants you to think that this person's happy with them or they're happy somewhere else doing god knows what but it says just leave it's not working out so this is what they kind of orchestrated here yeah but this person is still stalking you it's like you got the person but they could be threatening this person to not leave here or um yeah homie in love this person we got this work on them. They could be like in love here, or like it's giving like fine ass, sexy ass, beautiful person. But they're in love, or like they a dog, or like you know, people be like, oh, you got hoes, like yeah, yeah. Whoever this karmic is, baby, they miserable as fuck with this person. Yeah, he got you all the way fucked up, sex or this person got your person, or whoever this is, all the way fucked up. A child, this is just some messy ass shit or situation that's going on. Yeah, break up with her on board. So, like I said, this breakup, the separation, however, you're not dealing with this person. If you're, is this, this don't have to be, even be a love situation. It could be like, um, like I said earlier, business partnership or some type of unbreakable bond you have with them, whether it's a sibling, a friend, family member, lover, whatever it is. This is what's going on, okay? Um, yeah, your person could be acting fake, or this person could be acting fake, and you're trying to figure out why. It's because they have a mask on or like this. They've been masked and confused by this karma. But it's all going to unravel. It's all going to make sense eventually. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, this person attempted to steal this person from you and put a mask on or more importantly, blind you. Or blind them by making them say like, oh, this person knows who you think they are. Or manipulate them against you in some type of way in order to carry out this historical or orchestration of this okay but um yeah that's crazy let's go ahead and let's go ahead and use the oracle of shadow and light deck and i'm gonna wrap it up so let's see the future moves okay of this karmic future moves
first card out, we have holding on way too tight. So like I said, it's karmic is holding on way too tight here. Or they're doing the most to try to keep this from having a death and having a rebirth or becoming a rebirthing situation here. They want things to be dead, finito, done. Yeah, sweet memories. They don't have memories with this person here. Or they don't want them to go back memory lane or even think about you. Yeah, it says intoxication, distorted view, overindulgence here. They want to keep this person under their spell, like I said. Or, you know, distorted in some type of way. Or, you know, intoxicated or, you know... Yeah. Let's see this person's next moves here. If you do want a reading, you can definitely get one. The link is down below. All right, the turnaround time is three to five days. If you want a mercy reading, they are same day. Let's see what this person's next moves are. The first card we have out here is love is strange here. So maybe um regaining their love or their identity or what what you mean to them or what's going on. But it says guidance. Where will it lead you? This person looking for a spiritual guidance here. They may ask for this or they're asking somebody to help them or guide them or whatever it is. And then we have carnivorous flower fairy. A tempting offer has a high price regarding this karmic and that's what it is. Last but not least, we have the past returns for a time. So this person is going to try to return or pop back up. Let's see what your next move needs to be a curious. Yeah. Because I'm real. Babe, you talk the way you talk. Because I'm real. Alright, so more importantly here, it says it's a time to be brave. So Aquarius, you need to be brave. You need to be strong. You need to be resilient at this current time being here. But it says Poe. It's time for a change to learn something new. To use technology and gadgets for wisdom or to help you on your path. And then we have the number 23, Violet Angel. So breaking dawn. This is all going to break or, you know, a breakthrough moment. And then we have the 18, stifled, bored, and stuck. This energy is either going to be removed from you or the situation or what's going on but at the bottom of the deck overall it says voodoo in blue back off so this magic yeah please don't lose hope somebody's losing hope in this magic or i'm getting you don't need to lose hope here this is what's going on and at the top of the deck we have witch at the end of the world important ending and a new beginning and it says sewer mermaid your sensuality is beautiful so sensuality your sex appeal how you look whatever it is it's beautiful but that may actually lead this person back, and this is an important ending. So this may be what this situation is. But at the top, the bottom of the deck, it says what goes around comes around. So karma will fulfill itself, destiny, fate, and luck. And then at the top, we do have it's time for a treat, a reward, or a blessing. You will be blessed, or you will be given what you want. Okay, but this is the reading, y'all. All right. I hope you did resonate with this. But child, I had to go ahead and get this out. I don't know when I'm gonna post it, but mm, yeah, yeah, very interesting. All right. Bye.